Lloyd from LloydMesito.com, who's Lloyd Mesito and Think Personal Branding. Today, the date is uh, 28th September 2017. Time right now is 12 in the afternoon. All right, uh, I finished uploading most of the videos. That was uh, until the day of the operation. Uh, it took me quite a long time. So now this video that I'm going to upload is immediately after the surgery. I obviously wanted them to take a video of me when I was waking up, but uh, you know, it was not predicted when I would get up. So there was no camera or anything to, uh, you know, capture the moment when I just woke up. But I can tell you this much, that there was, uh, when they pulled something from my nostril, there was like a long bloody tube. I don't know, it just went like long, you know? Like, you know, when you saw Iron Man, he pulling off, not that long, but there was a long tube. And I did feel something like my throat was completely dry. I, I, I couldn't even uh, enunciate the words because apparently they put a tube there so my tongue wouldn't roll back. So it was completely dry and apparently they put a long tube so they could pull it out. And uh, you know this one, I had to remove my piercing. So I had to remove my piercing for the operation because they didn't want to risk it going inside. The other thing was um, they put a tube in my penis. They put a tube and when they took it out, I'll tell you, I, I thought it was just like a little bit, but they kept pulling and pulling and pulling and by the time it came out like, you know, just urine just gushed out. So it was like so long. It was like, you know, so long. It's like, uh, you know, if you see, it must have been so long. Uh, I don't know, approximately, but it was a rubber tube and I was like, fuck, how did they even put that? So. You'll not see any of those uh, bits um, of the tube and all that because obviously I just woke up. But you'd see me walking and uh, the thing I want you to pay attention to is the fact that Dr. Tom Babu, who's the CEO, he was by my side at the surgery. He was by my side when I woke up. He was by my side when I took the first steps. I think the poor guy slept only three hours uh, for two days, just three hours. It is nothing but a testament to how dedicated this wonderful gentleman is. He didn't have to do that. You know, he, he could have allocated it to someone else. I wouldn't even have known it. Uh, he, uh, he could have sent his head nurse or sister or some other surgeon, but he was there by my side uh, during the operation, during my, you know, the first time my eyes woke up, uh, my eyes opened up and you know during my first walk so I want you to watch those videos and you'll see Dr. Tom Babu being near my side and I'll tell you if anytime you're, you're planning to have a surgery you're planning to you know cut yourself open when you are not conscious or you are going to give your family to a doctor I don't think there is any better person than a gentleman or a team that really loves and cares for you as much as Dr. Tom Babu did and his team. Uh, I have nothing but genuine respect. I'm, I'm, I'm not a guy who uh, endorses anyone just for the sake of money. I've never done that just for any other reason. In fact, I'm pretty good at bad-mouthing someone or telling you the reality of things. If something's not worth it, it's not worth it. But Silver Line Hospital in Ke uh, Kochi, Kerala, uh, these guys are really, you know, nothing but heart and nothing but human. So please watch the video as I think this would be the last of me recovering. And um, do if you have any questions, let me know. So here goes the video. Or run and put it Facebook Live. No, that's too pretty. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah.
Do it. Take it nice and slow here. Yeah. Is it round or square now? Red. It is square. Yeah, that is recording. Yeah. I have to put this down for the. Yeah, push. I will. Want to support? Yeah, just support. Yes. Is it okay? <laughs> just. Slowly, slowly, put the slide Good, very good. Hello? Very good, very good, very good. There you go, big man. Stop, I'm going to go. Edit, edit, edit. I'm going to go. Slide it. Let me just tie this, okay? Yeah. Back. Where are you? How do you feel? Do you feel like it? Slightly. Slightly, that's fine. Just hold. Okay? Sure. Good. Very good. Very good. Very good. See, it's not that bad. Oh, do you need to get your uh, GP? You're okay? Yeah. You're fine? Just a little giddy, that's all. And if you feel giddy, we'll walk back. Slowly, just walk back there. Because when you've been lying down for some time, once you start... You, you can take a long shot. I've done the sample good back. Now he'll just she, she'll just change the sheet by then, okay? Can you walk That's again? Stop. Can you walk again? Uh, what's it doing? Uh, yeah, he motivated me now. Well, you know, some people they wither in pain, but I know you. You will walk. Not as feeling as a shit. He said a high standard debater to that. He he plays the psychological thing, yeah. Uh -huh. And you tell your child, I know he's a good boy. He will eat his really? spinach. Yeah, I'm a good boy. Okay. So what I do have you to say? Right? You, you're the expert man. If you think, uh -huh. thanks for coming. If it worked, thanks for coming in the morning. Hey, cool man. You didn't have to. Good. She is me. Yeah. Right. Good. That's it, sir. I was more concerned about you, where you were looking and holding the hand. You can see where he's looking. He's not looking at me. You should be looking at me. Yeah, okay, so you want where he's looking at you. Um, we just want this shot. Ah, okay. okay. We just want a pan of your body to your neck. Okay. So that's okay, no? Huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Because the previous show, no, he is looking at you. And you got that, right? Okay. And you want to put it on Facebook Live? Yeah, 
See again, yeah. yeah. I didn't die, so I'm alive. Yeah. Just a little bit of discomfort and weak because not had anything. So yeah. I, I got up after the surgery at 3.30. I tried to sleep throughout. I couldn't sleep. 3.30, 4.30, 5.30. Every half an hour to 15 minutes I kept waking up. So, yeah. Anyway, just thought I'll update you guys. Uh, Surgery is done. And now, well, nothing but recovery. So, let's see what happens. Tom, are you okay? Dong Nong Viparat. Yeah, I'm okay. Just weak. So. Anyway, guys, let me, uh, let me get back to it. We'll be performing a series of tests. Let's see what happens. Right. See you guys. Take care. All right. So, finished my surgery. Feeling a bit weak. And started to get fever. It's painful. Mm-hmm. Slightly is painful. And I need to walk because um, 
the operation was on my stomach and it this time so it's not only pain it is build up of yeah it's high pressure uh, you doing so after my surgery i need to walk bindu manoj how are you i'm uh, feeling a bit dizzy feverish the operation was it went well uh, just that i need to walk i don't want to walk right now and the george hey man so stomach's a bit swollen kartik a and z mogul how are you guys doing I honestly don't want to walk. I'm sure you feel like crap, yeah. I feel terrible. Uh, the pain is all over. Anil George says, "Hello, soon. Thanks a lot, man." Uh, I they they had to make sure that my surgery was okay. See, my uncle says, "How are you? I've seen the operation. Really worried." Yeah, it's okay. Akshay Lal Bhati. Dikni Panda Koon, my wifey. How is my wifey? So today I'm feeling feverish, feeling dizzy. Ah, uh, Chandan Bhatia. So two, three friends came to visit me. I appreciate. So I'm just. Are you okay? Oh, okay, baby. Just have fever. Not keeping well. So I need to walk. Mm. Pain is there. Maybe tomorrow we'll be okay. So, my pressure went okay. Um, I think they finished it after three and a half hours. So they started off at, I think three. Finished up around seven thirty. Then I woke up at two thirty. I didn't remember anything. So there was a tube up my nose and. my throat was dry put an oxygen mask on my face get the sun thanks to them so they put an oxygen mask on my face and i was in pain bad pain and i couldn't even speak i couldn't say a word because my throat was dry i was just oh, oh, oh. i couldn't even speak you know every 15 minutes i kept asking for the nurse to help me go to sleep give me some antibiotics or something you know so now uh, everything was okay until they took me to get the x-ray for my stomach so i was supposed to drink gulp down 80 ml water not water some medicine or liquid that was the most painful thing i ever did ah uh, Now I'm feeling like fuck. Now I'm uh, feeling dizzy, feeling feverish. Uh, I think tomorrow I'll feel better. So anyway, just wanted to update this with you guys. The staff at Silver Line, they are some of the best. Let's say by far one of the best hospitals that I've ever come across. The people are very genuine, very caring. This is seriously a very good place. Huh? I mean, they really care about you. They really do. Very, very caring people. I would say, don't go to any other hospital. Come down to this one. Sujit Kumar Gopal joined. Hi. So yeah, I have nothing but praise for Tom, Babu, and his team. Very nice people. I mean, you can trust your family, your child. anyone and everyone uh, i'm just feeling too weak i need to go and crash i think yeah so and i just wanted to give you guys an update thank you for all the messages uh, those of you who send me messages i really appreciate so to give you an idea uh, this is i'm just having soup and i can't drink more than 2 3 drops of this yeah you know? so yeah this is my bed uh this is how everything looks like 
So yeah. And now uh, I'll also show you. I need to take this one. Pass them on. So guys, if you have any kind of surgery, I seriously recommend you come down to Silver Line. Really, really good place. The staff is excellent. The owner is good. Especially the sisters are very caring. They, they treat you like family. So, come down and... Uh, Oh, that was an effort. Alright. Anyway, guys, see you. Take care. And uh, I'll be back. Alright. See you guys. So, hi there, guys. Cedo is bringing you from LoyalToCedo.com. Finally, I'm getting better at uh, recuperating. This is day three. Yesterday, I went for a bit of shopping. You know, I purchased a couple of uh, books to show you. Purchased a couple of books. Uh, because as you know, I'm, I'm always into buying books. I always buy books. I need them. That is my fuel, and that is what helps me improve. And so I purchased quite a number of books, which I thought would be useful for me. Uh, and uh, apart from books, I bought some stuff for home, because here in India it's cheaper. So that's what I ended up doing. And this was a bit weak. So in case you want to know which other books I bought, I'll just keep this here. In case you want to know which other books I bought, um, these are the books. Number one is about more sales, less time. I bought this book. Another book which I bought is the Superstar Syndrome. Bought this book also. And another one I bought Inner Engineering by Sadhguru. Apparently that's his best-selling book. Now about this book, you have one word, Ivan Charnel. Uh, this guy, I've been following him, so he's pretty popular online. Then, wise, Wisest One in the Room, this is another book that I bought. And then, uh, another one is Life on Purpose, this is another book that I bought. And finally, Corporate Chanakya, or whatever, bought this book. So, one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven books. I bought seven books. That would be really good. Um, yeah, another three more I bought. I think one was uh, uh, How to Win by Mark Cuban. That's another book. And uh, I think I have the last book that I purchased. Uh, what is it? I purchased and kept it somewhere. I purchased it at the airport. Yes, this one. Oh, sorry, this is an old book. Uh, yeah, I think this is the one. Yes, yes. Modern Romance and Investigation. So this turned out to be a pretty witty, witty book. So, kind of nine books in total. Uh, so, um, purchased the books. And that's one thing. Then bought some chips and sweets for my for home, and did a little bit of shopping for wifey. So yeah, um, the major announcement that I wanted to give you is um, I will be doing a seminar today. Richard Phillips, hi Richard. How are you? So one of, um, oh, by the way, Richard, I just wanted to tell you that um, in this hospital, they treat varicose veins and they treat uh, obesity also. They treat both of them. So if that is what you're looking into, um, why are you awake? Because I woke up, can't sleep. So, yeah. Um, today at around, uh, after, after afternoon, let's say, 
later in the afternoon, so around maybe 2.30, there will be the seminar. <coughs> I'll be conducting the seminar. I'm still a little bandaged up if you want to see. I don't know. Let me, let me show you how I look. Slightly bandaged up. You can see this. Yeah. Still bandaged up. Yeah. So these are the piercings from where the actual stuff the place. Nasser Zara, how are you doing Nasser? Nasser, you have been very kind. I really appreciate. I never thought you would uh, send me so many good wishes. I just want to say thank you. Yeah. Ah, no. Nasser, I just want to say thank you. You have been very kind. Ah. You always send me good wishes, so I just want to say thank you to you. Um, I really appreciate I never thought you would send me wishes every day. So you're a very kind man. Thank you. I am very grateful. So I didn't think you would uh, do that. So, yeah, um, just wanted to update you guys that uh, uh, the seminar will be today. I'll be doing a seminar and I'll be sharing it with you guys live. And uh, today is more or less the last day that I'll be here in the hospital. Tomorrow onwards I'll be traveling. And by tomorrow this time, I think I would be in um, Thailand. So the hospital journey is over and uh, the only thing left is for me to you know summarize everything else that has happened so health wise I'm, I'm doing fine um, had bouts of fever here and there uh, but I think that's okay uh, pain is still there the gas and uh, formation in my system is less uh, able to walk pain, well, it's just sore. Um, food, I have to introduce into my body slowly. So just having 100 milli a day. And uh, I specifically, yeah, you can keep it here. I specifically want to thank uh, those friends who kept sending me messages every day. I, I really appreciate. Just want to say thank you to you. Um, the, the people who genuinely cared, the rest of you, well, I'm not against you. It's, you know, it's not that you had to, you just didn't care because you have your own priorities. So that's cool. You know, keep, it as, keep it as business and professional. Obviously, you don't need to care. So, yeah, but it's good to know who my friends are and, uh, you know, who I can turn to. So just wanted to let you guys know this. Um, I especially want to say a big thanks to Tushar, uh, Ashwin, um, Patricia, uh, well, so, um, Pranav, then um, uh, Aaron, uh, Matthew, Jacob. Um, yeah, these guys, they came all the way. Let me help you. Okay, so Richard Phillips, when do you fly back? I'll fly back uh, tonight. And Nasir Zar says, uh, so happy lawyer recover soon, champ. Thanks a lot, man. Uh, you're very kind, Nasir. I really appreciate it. And Richard, I'll be flying back tonight. So I just want to say thank you to these guys. Um, uh, for your messages and for your kindness, I, I really appreciate. Uh, you know, some of you were really caring. Uh, you kept sending those messages every day to ensure that I was positive and uh, cared for. Um, for those of you who I thought you would send me messages and you didn't, uh, that's not a big deal. I guess it's you have your priorities, and uh, you know. It's my expectations need not matter, you know, end of the day. Nasser say, take care, Roy. You take care, Nasser. Be safe always. So anyway, guys, um, this is just the update I wanted to give you. Um, everything will be back to normal very soon. So until then, just want to... That's gas formation. <sighs> Thank you. 
So until then, guys, um, you guys take care. All right? Take care now, sir. Take care, Richard. See you guys. Uh, so right now, I'm in the room. Uh, the sister is going to change my bandages on my stomach. So we can have a life preview of what it is to change bandages. So now the sister is going to take and change all the bandages. So yeah, you can change. No This is it alcohol? Spirit. Hmm? Spirit. Ah, spirit. So the sticker goes. Hmm. Otherwise, you will get pain. Yeah, otherwise, it's like waxing. <laughs> Very cold. Is it your problem? No, 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 it's okay. Cool. So, <clears throat> so first, they put spirit. And that kind of feels like drops of ice all over the wound. And uh, yeah, so that's the first one. And then she is going to take it out. Need help? Pain and No, no, no pain. So the first bandage is out. Now she is going to remove the second one. It's kind of a sticky filament. Um, it sticks to the skin. So, yeah. Pain? No, no. applying a little bit of spirit so that uh, you know the stickiness is less drops of spirit and they're kind of peeling it off Getting it removed. I think you have to use without. Does it keep sticking now? No problem, use yours, no problem. Pain? No, no, no pain, no pain at all, just, just remove. Sticking to my thing, huh? That's interesting. Stuck. <laughs> no? Just tell me not to do that. 
<sighs> so I have nice six holes in my body. This is the second one. seems to be very very sticky so it sticks pretty well This one is a little red and bloody. Not touch. Mm, no touch, okay. Nice. Mm -hmm. Now other side, center. So now it's going to be the center one. for to remove this and eventually I think they can roll so okay so that is where I had my next huh? yeah you can see the below is chin yeah you can see that there so, Arun Chandran. Hi, Arun. He's putting up new bandages for me. Ah. Sam Lane joined it. Hi Sam, how are you doing? Nice to see you. Looking good, all things considered. Yep, I'm one hell of a guy. Apparently the doctor was more worried that I was recovering too fast. So, so I guess uh, that's one of my lucky bits. <laughs> Don't worry. My nurse is very shy. She doesn't want to come on camera.
Spring. No, no. Okay. So here we have another nice little wound. I'm not supposed to touch it. So, and then the last one. Last one, which is. Feeling okay, Sam. It's just um, the obviously because my body was cut from inside, so it takes time for it to heal. You know, uh, you can't make that heal faster. So pain is still there. There's a buildup of gastric uh, gas, like uh, Anil Kumar and Renju joined. Hi uh, guys. Uh, so that takes a little bit of an effort, and um, I think. Uh, um, you know, it, it, it will just take me some time to get used to the fact that uh, uh, I have to change my diet, I have to change the way I eat. So, this is Geet Deepak Tyagi. Hi, like, great to see you. Hey, great to see you too. So, just waiting to get these bandages removed. So, okay, so all the bandages are removed. The only wound that is a little sore is this one, as you can see. You can see it is uh, still red with blood, like, you know, a little bit of that reddish flesh is there. So just getting this sorted out, um, my plan is to go search for a couple of uh, self-improvement books and do a little bit of window shopping. Uh, after that, I'll be conducting a seminar. Anil Kumar, bye. How are you? Yeah, I'll be conducting a seminar two 2.30 India time. Dinub Dawan, the Diva Datan, or whatever. Okay, two thirty India time will be the seminar, so you guys can tune in if you want to watch. Ah, so this is how my we looks like. The tattooed. Nice designs, I would say. Looks nice. I like it. Yeah. Operation? No, dressing. Oh, dressing. To clean the wounds. Oh. That will put them. Okay, together. I think you'll be putting better in now. Better in? Better in? No. Not using the wound. Oh, okay. Screen. Screen. Yeah, so, kind of lazy. Yeah, it's a little bit of 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 a little was it laparoscopic surgery? Yes, it was laparoscopic. So that is why there's no like major surgery, surgery cut, like you know, the center or anything like that. Uh, that's why I have six holes. Actually, they're supposed to have four. I thought there'd be five, but they have six in mine. You need to watch the video. And apparently in the video, I'm naked. Ah, so much for private moments. So the... The sister is getting everything ready there, as you can see. So she is getting all the solutions and everything else. And very soon she is going to start bandaging me up, as you can see. Mm. Okay, so now she's bringing it and she's going to eat. It's cold. Pain? No, no pain. So, So that's a solution that she's applying to the wounded area. So, so how does it look like? Yeah. Looks a little. So, um, free willy, lol. Yep, very much free willy. Keep Tyagi your body. Ah. Oh. Pain, pain, sorry. Hmm. This. Yeah, I'm sticking now.
I kind of have a fetish for this. Uh, you know, when you remove these thin strands of stuff that is stuck to your body. Mm. Like you said, free willy. Yeah, everyone got to see my willy on Facebook Live. Anyway, I look like a dead duck. So, so now she's applying the solution just to make sure there's no infection. And uh, so you can see she's applying the solution and drawing it as well. Yeah. So, give me a bit of that. Yeah. Yeah, it's looking at me. <laughs> looking at me, it's life, it's capturing what she's doing. Okay, okay. Uh, this thing, uh, what? Uh, upper medicine we will try today. Dong nong uh, bhi Which medicine? Uh, vitamin? Medicine, that protein powder. Mm. We will try today. Okay. Again, you will restart. Mm. Um, what is important is that protein. Mm. Uh, what is the right? No bandage? No. Oh. Okay. What is my height? Yeah. 5'8". Five 5'8". Eight. Five eight. Mm. Uh, so, in Centimeters of it will be? 176. Hmm. 174 or 176? One of the two. Okay. So your ideal body weight is almost 76 to 77. Hmm. IBW ideal body weight. Yeah. And when I'm 70, I'll be so happy. Yeah. 75 is okay. 76. Will you, when you're 70, you'll be little underweight. I want to be 70. 70 but, is okay. Mm. Anyway, uh, protein will be 76 gram. It mm. will be up to 65 to 76 gram of protein. Mm. You should get. Mm. Means 0.9 into 76, 68 grams. 68. Mm. Uh, 68. When you come back Thailand, I'm coming back uh, uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm coming back Thailand. Okay. Uh, so what do you say? So 68 gram of protein you should get. Okay. That is important. Mm. 68 gram. Uh, How do I measure that? I have planned a diet mm. which uh, if you follow that diet you will get 68 gram of protein. No. Okay. Huh? Uh, but here and there, it, some alteration is okay. Mm. So I will give you a list of foods which mm. are rich in protein okay. and how much gram it will give. Mm. One egg will give you how much protein? I don't know. Eight grams. Only eight? Yeah. So how many eggs I should eat per day? No, no, it's not egg alone. You need to mix no, different varieties. Like one list I will give you. So how many uh, grams of protein is it per day? 76. 68. 0.9 is the body weight. 0.9. I need to do IBW. Ideal body weight. Okay, you will have to give me that formula, write it down. Yeah, yeah. I will give you that. Uh, mm. But that is important. That part you should not miss. Protein. Mm. Yeah, I know. Uh, I love protein. <laughs> then uh, it will, it, that you won't get from uh, your tablets, vitamin okay. tablets. See, this is my nutritionist expert. This is my sister. This is other sister. Both my sister. Don't. This is super senior. This is baby sister. She <laughs> look, put it she, online, okay? It's already on Facebook. It's going live. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Maria uh, Smotrisky. Uh, uh, Loy, can you uh, go through this book? Yeah, please. You'll leave it here. I'll, I'll go through. Yeah, I'll leave it here. Uh, uh, it is about nutritional yeah, thing. Both the nutrition after bariatric so Okay. You'll uh, give me the... Uh, yeah. yeah. Most of uh, give, I have taken... A, I will give you that, but give, just... Yeah, yeah, give me a copy also. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, this thing, if you read, you will get an idea. Hmm? Okay. What What all things you should concentrate on is protein first. Okay. The priority should be protein, at least. Hmm. If you cannot meet 68 grams, at least 65 grams you try to meet. Protein is um, something that I eat every day. Protein is something Animal protein. protein. Hmm. Then you have to concentrate on your uh, supplements. Hmm. Uh, you have to have, I think you have to have almost like wrong supplements. That every day or answer. every day or every alternate day? That I don't know. That you have to uh, ask with your doctor. Mm. Uh, how, how often you need to take all those things. Okay. But what I recommend you is to have this. 
This one is amla extract. Uh, one amla is very good. Amla mean you know that uh, gooseberry. A uh, gooseberry. Okay. Uh, this you have to take one after breakfast. Mm. And this is omega three. Mm. Flax seed. Okay. Flat extract. This you have to take after lunch. Hmm. After lunch or any time in a day. If I can take it in the morning simply instead of one after one before and it's okay, no? One after and one before. If I just take all at one, once a day. Hmm. Uh, after breakfast three. you have. Yeah. After breakfast. Yeah. Uh, then vitamin, I don't know. That doctor will see the timing. And one thing you have to make sure is that if you don't take iron and calcium tablets together. Oh, yeah, yeah. They clash. Yeah. They will clash. Hmm. Uh, so when iron, when calcium. When iron, when calcium, all those things doctor will say. That is not my department. Hmm. Okay. That they will save the supplements. Mm. Uh, then I will give you a diet plan. Uh, whatever things you need to follow is that one thing uh, you can have almost all foods after uh, six months. That uh, six tra months transition is transition is the mm. transition is the okay. uh, first first one week you will be on liquid diet. Mm. Next two weeks you will be on soft diet. That is pureed diet. Mm. After the third week you can have your normal diet, mm. but take care of the portion. Mm. You can have a little. Mm. Whenever you feel hungry, you have a little. Mm. Then stop it when you feel full. Mm. Listen to your stomach. And when, again, when you feel hungry, you can have a little. Mm. I have divided the table into avoid, restrict. Because restrict was not the eat or the potato. I need mm. to avoid potato. Mm. Then I thought, there's no need to avoid potato, you just restrict. Okay. Restrict difference between the restrict okay. and avoid. Huh? So uh, avoidance is mainly on fats and sugars. Mm. Don't ha have high fat food, high sugar food. Okay. Most of the, the other foods you can have, but the quantity will be hmm. less. Uh, I still want to have parota with the uh, <laughs> fish curry. But you can have after next time you come here, you can have you can yeah. have all those things. Huh? Next and, I'm, and I'm already thinking of Baskin Robin ice cream. Mm, Baskin Robin. <laughs> ah. That only you can have it. Is not now. Have and not then, now. then I'll be admitted not to the hospital. Not now. <laughs> then you told the dietitian has told me to have Baskin mm. Robin. <laughs> so what a, that pro protocol is the that mm. I will give. Yeah. After six months you can have most of mm. the food. Huh? You can you just go through this. This I will uh, ask them to enter into the medicine. Okay. So, uh, one uh, this packet contains 60. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you take one, it will go up to two months. Mm -hmm. uh, so I will give you three packets of kortota. Medislim, you are going to take medislim. There, there you are going to take an other supplement, a pro, I mean, spariatic protein powder, Optifers and all those things. I, I don't know. Let, let's see. I have asked him for a six month supply. From, from the, from here, I'm going to take six months okay, supply. Okay, so I, I will give from here. On. Yeah. Medicine. So, so everything give me six months supply. Okay. Okay. Mm. Mm. Medicine, you know that 90, uh, two scoops will give you 12 grams of protein. Mm. It is the two scoops, 12 grams of protein. Okay. So you just calculate your food. Mm. How much? I'll give you this. Yeah, yeah, just write this down so then I can calculate yeah, it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. KG Sony has joined. How are you, KG Sony? Nice. Maria Smotras is taking care of Thanks a lot. Thank you. My bandages are being changed right now. Bring some transfer. I don't know if you can see it. It's a thin phlegm. Very thin phlegm. Yeah, here you can see the thin flame. Okay, so this is how they put it. KG, sorry. I hope things are going fine for you, man. So... Here is one more. So they're making sure that it is... Biju Vargis. Baiju family. Baiju Vargis. Family. Yeah, family. You know Baiju? 
Yeah. One page is here. That's uh, not one piece. Okay. Our okay. irritation. Okay. Okay. Good. Mm, you want to put one here? <laughs> <laughs> one, two, two, three, six, four, five, six. Right. Okay. So finish. Maybe yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Night. Night. So if you can put on my head, then it'll be waterproof. Oh. Then raining, no problem. No problem. <laughs> so uh, I'll be leaving at time nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. Yeah. You're here till what time? Uh, two o'clock. Yeah. And we'll meet. Okay. okay bye. Take See you. Care. Take care. <laughs> Patricia, I love uh, clear bandages. They're fun to put on. Yeah. It's fun to. Has the pain subsided? Nah, pain is still there, man. It's, it's like it'll take me some time to get over the pain. Um, Patricia, I, I kind of love. Uh, you know, pulling those little bits which are stuck. I don't know. It's kind of my fetish. Yeah. Take it. I have to drink the juice. My his sister, no? See, she is very, very strict. You see, look. <laughs> Bye. Bye. See you. Very strict. Very caring. Oh. Ah. Oh. So this is how it looks like. Clear sticker one, clear sticker two, clear sticker three. You can see a little bit of blood here. Hmm. Shiny. Yeah, four, five. Yep. So, anyway, guys. So this is how my bandage changed. My hand is a little swollen. Just have to get that. Anyway, just thought I'll update you once again. Uh, I'll be back in Thailand. Ouch. Mm. I'll be back in Thailand tomorrow. Inderjit Singh. How are you, sir? So, anyway, guys. So, this is what it is. Where you wear you pin cushion. You, you wear pin cushion. I know what's a pin cushion. Ah. So the plan is, uh, I'll be going shopping, then I'll be having a seminar, I'll be conducting a seminar, then, you know, just killing off rest of the time, maybe go shopping again, then 9 o'clock I'll be leaving for the airport, then uh, I'll go into the airport, then, yeah, then I'll be flying off to Thailand, yeah. Holes in you, silly. Ah, holes, yes. Patricia, you're so complicated sometimes. Ninja say, good, how are you? How about you? I'm fine. Off, off, how are you? Off, off is my sweetie, best friend in Kosamui. Off is the most lovable, wonderful, sweet Thai friend I have. Off is really, really the most wonderful Thai lady. She's really, really nice. I'm lucky to have Off as my best friend. Off is like my family. Tong Nong Viparat. You are also hurt at the wounded surgical jaw. Yes, it pains. And fuck being normal. <laughs> Who wants to be normal? Patricia, guess what? After my surgery, uh, within six hours, I already was walking and the doctors were like, what the fuck? You know, you just had a surgery. We cut you and how the fuck are you walking? So I was like, I don't know. So Sylvie Sandeep joined in. Hey, uh, off. Maybe me and... Um, uh, what's her name? Uh, Annie bringing something special for you and baby. So don't worry. We're bringing something special So guys hope you enjoy uh, Keep you updated. This is me saying bye-bye for now <laughs>